Today we're going to deploy Laravel to Amazon Oz. We're going to go through the complete steps from zero, starting with nothing, to ending where you have your application in production under an SSL cert and everything's working just fine. All right, before we get started, let's just cover a few details of kind of what is going to be involved in this series. I plan on doing a number of videos. This is the first video and we're going to talk about a monolithic deployment and we're going to do it all manually. And you can see there's a number of other videos that I have in mind. So the next video after this is a DevOps video where we're going to automate a lot of the manual processes that we did in this video. That'll involve refactoring some of the manual steps into infrastructure as code. And then after that, I have a few videos planned on different scaling mechanisms. So this monolithic application is perfectly fine if you're running a small website. But as your website grows, you may run into issues and you need, may need to scale. So one of the important aspects of scaling is that we need to understand you know, what different levers we can pull for the different scaling issues that we might have. So we're going to go through scaling the database, scaling the cache, scaling the workers, scaling the website itself. Four different videos on scaling. And finally, we're going to look at some CI CD infrastructure so that we can automate our deployments. My guess is once we get through a couple of videos, there will be some additional videos that come along too. So hopefully a complete series on, you know, how to deploy and some of the issues that you might run into in deploying to OS. Right now, we're at this first step. So let's go ahead and take a closer look into this monolithic deployment and how we're going to do it today. So before we get going, let's talk about Laravel. I want to break down kind of some of the call them, let's call them tiers today um, of what we're actually talking about. So there's a web tier and this web tier is going to be composed of Nginx, PHP, and we're going to use Git as our deployment mechanism to deploy it manually. So this is the tier that most users interact with. They're going to do HTTP requests. They're going to come into Nginx. Nginx is going to pop proxy that request over to PHP FPM. And then that response is going to get handed back to Nginx and served back to the user. Another tier is the database tier. We're actually going to look at two different database tiers. In this case, we're going to use, uh, we're going to take a look at SQLite. And also we're going to port it over to MySQL once we get it on Amazon AWS. And the third tier is the workers tier. And for this tier, we're going to use uh, Ubuntu Supervisor D. And it's going to start up some workers who are going to pull jobs from the Redis queue. And then the final tier is the scheduler tier. And that's kind of a complement to the workers. Those jobs have to get there somehow. Usually they can get there two ways. Either the web can schedule jobs and put them on the Redis queue. Or there's a scheduler that automatically schedules jobs based upon kind of a cron. Once a minute, it does certain things, or once an hour, it does certain things. And so for this, we're going to deploy a demo application where I've just essentially cloned the default Laravel. At this time, it's a uh, version 11.2. And I have a GitHub repo where this Laravel demo resides. There's only a few small changes. I created a couple of jobs and a couple of commands so that as we get to those parts where we're going to want to test the workers and test the scheduler, that we have something to test against. As we previously discussed, this is going to be a monolithic deployment. And what, what I mean by that is we're going to take all of those tiers and we're going to deploy them to a single instance in Amazon Oz. So, so the web database workers and schedule, they're all going to go into a single EC2 instance. All right, before we get going, let's just take a quick look and see where we're going to land. So here's the Laravel demo app deployed to Amazon Oz, just a regular website. You can see it's, I'm using a, a subdomain for a domain that I already own is nextler.com. And so I deployed this and you can see it here. It's running a version 11.2 and PHP 8.3. In addition, it has Horizon running. So all of the jobs that are coming in, there's 60 jobs in the past hour. You can see all of the completed jobs and everything is functioning as you would expect. And then if you take a look at the Amazon AWS console, you can see that I do have one instance running. It's called Laravel-Demo, and it has a public IP address, and everything is up and running. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of this so we can start fresh together. 